benigno aquino the third issued executive order 23 declaring a moratorium on the cutting and harvesting of timber in the natural and residual forest to enforce this executive order the anti-illegal logging task force was formed headed by former marine commandant general renato miranda tonight general miranda joins us to give us an update on the mission of the task force has the president's order been implemented fully in pursuing and prosecuting illegal loggers who destroys our forests and puts at risk the lives of our people? Good evening, sir. Good evening, Robert. Sir, to start us off, what is your mandate and mission as the executive director of the anti task force? And how many agencies are involved? Ang ating task force was created uh, last February 2011 under executive order number 23. At ang mga members ng ating task force are the following. The Secretary of Defense, Secretary of the ILG, Chief of the PNP, Chief of the Armed Forces, and chaired by the Secretary DNR. Mm -hmm. Lately, we recommended for the inclusion of the Secretary DOJ Dahil napil namin na doon kami weak doon sa mga cases uh, mm -hmm. as we move along, uh, mm -hmm. as we do our job. So, so far, how many cases have been filed, how many have been convicted, and how many are still pending? So far, uh, we filed uh, more than 500 cases, and uh, out of that, uh, sadly, we have only 26 convictions. Mm -hmm. uh, 23 were acquitted. Right now, 107, I think, is under trial, mm -hmm. and the rest, again, uh, very sadly, still in the table of the prosecutor. So this is the main reason why you are requesting for the DOJ to be involved in this campaign? Yes, uh, we requested DOJ, and uh, I think, uh, and they agreed that uh, the DOJ will provide the prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, yung NBI ng DOJ, is willing to help us in the investigation and in the preparation of cases. Mm. So what are the Which areas we are doing right now? Yes. Okay. So what are the areas where illegal logging should be stopped? Based on statistics, Mindanao, especially in the Caraga region, is a major problem when it comes to illegal logging. Can you name what are these provinces? Yeah. Uh, in the last report, no, uh, we we were able to to uh, confiscate millions, around 19 million board feet. The top three actually came from Region 11, Region 13, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I would like to, remain, to remind yung ating mga kababayan, yung Region 10, yung, yung nangyari sa Cagayan de Oro, mm -hmm. na may mga lags na galing mm -hmm. dun sa Mount Kitanglad. And that was checked right now. Mm -hmm. Na-check na natin yan. So are there instances where illegal logging carried out um, with the support of local officials? Can you name some of them, sir? Can you give our people a simple report on how successful is your campaign against illegal logging and if um, politicians or big businessmen are actually part of this? We developed the doctrine no? uh, because of the involvement in the task force of the DILG secretary. So we na, 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 ano natin yung participation and cooperation of uh, the local government units. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, some members of the local government units, businessmen, indigenous people, uh, mm -hmm. NPAs, mm -hmm. or even ordinary people in the place, mm -hmm. were involved in, in lagging. So, Ito yung ating, uh, of course, the names of these people cannot be divulged right now because they are all under investigation. So from your report, um, uh, it says from February 2011 to August 2012, you have confiscated over 12 million board feet of uh, illegal laws. What do you do with them after you've confiscated? Most of these, uh, 7 million out of the 12 million were donated to different agencies. More than a million was given to uh, the, the, it was given to DEX. Mm -hmm. Then around a million was given to TESDA. Then the rest of the seven million were given to the other agencies like the armed forces, the uh, other uh, LGUs who are uh, 
uh, doing the repair of their schools. Mm. Uh, we are providing that, uh, provided they, r they write the secretary mm -hmm. uh, of DNR and uh, they give us the project and the extent of the repair. Mm -hmm. Especially if it is a school building and yung mga health centers. Mm -hmm. So I understand that the Manobo tribe in Abusan del Sur is supporting your anti-logging campaign. In fact, you actually have a report for the president that this tribe has a particular project, the Tagliong Agroforestry Project, a palm oil plantation. They started financed through their own efforts. Based on your report, are you recommending this as a flagship project to be replicated? Yes, yes. Uh, I send a party to validate what is, what is happening in the Manobo project. And uh, I would like to report this to the nation. Uh, the Monobo project is more than forest protection. Mm -hmm. the uh, it is more of livelihood, jobs uh, creation, and mm -hmm. even community development. They even attend to education. So, madami na rin silang nabibigyan ng scholarship. Mm -hmm. So, ang key talaga dito is involve the poorest dwellers if you would like to to sustain or sustainable protect forest mm -hmm. at yan ay mangyayari lang kung yung mga nakatira sa ating kagubatan mm -hmm. ay hindi nagugutom mm -hmm. so eto ang binigyan ng attention ng project nagkaroon ng livelihood mm -hmm. project doon at uh, nabigyan naman sila ng kapital ng mga international uh, banks and uh, in the validation we are trying to pim up yung mga involved na, na principles involved so that mm -hmm. we can replicate it mm -hmm. to Luzon mm -hmm. and Visayas. So and this other. project, um, which we call actually social fencing, is this already being implemented um, yes. in the Manova tribe? Yes, as the, we call it social uh, fencing mm -hmm. activity in the Manova tribe. And I would like to invite everyone mm -hmm. that on this November 28th, will be the first Congress of the Monobo and it will, uh, I think it will be shown all over the country in all, using all the channels for us, the nation, to see how successful the Monobo tribe is in uh, attending forest protection, job uh, creation, and community development. So do you see this project as the answer to the problem of poverty of our indigenous people? Yeah, I think so, partially. In fact, it will even lead to maybe the population of our urban centers. Mm -hmm. Some of our indigenous people who are staying right here in Metro Manila might be convinced in as much that there are opportunities back home, they might go back to their uh, ancestral domain. Mm -hmm. So um, basically this um, project, uh, how would you actually replicate this? Uh, how much work should needed to be done in order to help your group to actually um, uh, eradicate illegal logging mm -hmm. in these areas? Uh, yeah, thank you, Robert, for that question. Madami kaming na test na doctrina, mm -hmm. especially in interoperability of different agencies, plus the importance of the forest dwellers themselves. Mm -hmm. And most of the these were, were validated. So. Madali na, uh, unlike to ginawa dito sa uh, everything is tested. Right now, yung mga validated doctrines can easily be applied all over the country. So in, in the areas where illegal logging is um, prevalent, um, how do you secu um, do your intelligence, or how do you um, gather the intelligence, plus how do you secure the areas um, like um, let's say illeg the illegal logs that have been taken out um, being processed by the plantations are there any penalties that you uh, yeah. you give out for these uh, planta uh, processing plantations which actually process illegal logs plantation trees are allowed it's not covered by EO 23 ang EO 23 natin simply lang uh, to explain it in a very very simple term bawal pagputol ng kahoy na hindi mo tanim so, pag tinanim mo, at yun ay properly recorded naman sa DNR, mm -hmm. pwede mong harvesting yun. Uh, that is allowed by EO 23. Mm -hmm. At ang, uh, kung ang tinatanong mo naman, Robert, ay yung diskarte na dapat gawin. We were guided by three uh, strategies. One is, ang una, huwag dapat maputol ang kahoy. Because that's the 
that, that is the end of yes. everything. I mean, what I mean, even if we were able to confiscate 12 billion board feet, it is not a 100% success. Mm. Because in the first place, those slugs should not be cut yeah. from the forest. Mm -hmm. So there are efforts. Ang katulog natin dyan, uh, as I said earlier, yung ating mga indigenous people. Mm -hmm. Well, may nakakalusot. So, hahabuli natin dun sa mga factories. Mm -hmm. And we were able to close uh, several hundreds of WPPs already. Yung mga mm -hmm. nagbabiolate at nagbibili uh, ng mga lags na hindi dapat iprocess. Mm -hmm. At pag nakalusot pa rin dyan, we will shield all roads and ports. At katulong na natin dyan ang ibang agency, the Bureau of Custom, the uh, Coast Guard, and even the Philippine Port Authority. And finally, sir, now that the task force is in final words to those who um, still continue to do illegal logging in these areas. Na actually, nakinig na sila nung we gave warning to them. So right now, I can say na kung may, konti, may, may problema pa sa logging, napaka-konti na lang yan. Kung kaya uh, at this point in time, I'm willing to I'm about to recommend that uh, the task force should be at the regional task force level na lang. Okay, on that note, thank you very much, General Miranda, for joining us tonight, and congratulations for the success of your mission. Thank you, sir. Maraming salamat, Robert.